Hi there everyone, your eyes do not deceive you, this is a different trailer here because we're now advertising British Shooting Show 2024, 16th, 17th and 18th of February 2024, looking forward to seeing you all there and I'll try and make it all three days next year, brilliant, can't wait. Hi there everyone, Russ Douglas 222 here, something a little different from my uh, recent videos, I mainly review digital scopes, day and night scopes for pest control because after all, Darkness is the best camouflage. But I do own one glass scope, which is this Discovery Optics HD34 3 to 18 by 50 first focal plane scope. And it's proper first focal plane, as in on minimum mag, three times mag, the reticle is tiny, very, very fine etched stadia. Whereas when you wind it up to 18 mag for long range use, which is after all what you buy a scope like this for, the reticle is very fine, very sharp. Now this is an excellent medium to long range scope with an 18 times top mag. Well, it does have three times mag for short range use. But thanks to Discovery Optics and uh, Heiter, Anna and the team, I've got something new to review here, starting with an unboxing. And let me just say, this being a 34 mil tube, this is not a lightweight. I've just weighed it and including the sunshade, because springs in the air. Lightweight 34 millimeter discovery mounts. And I've also got a third mount on here with a back-to-back -back Picatinny adapter to allow me to fit an LE-032 laser rangefinder. And all in, including the sunshade, three individual scope mounts. This is exactly one kilo. Well, the scope I've got to, to unbox here is a little bit more of a heavyweight, higher mag, still first focal plane, Still 34 millimeter diameter tube. This is some performer. Let's get it unboxed. As you can see, this is a fair old box. 475 by 230 by 115 deep. And all in, this weighs exactly three kilos. So something a little bit different here. So here we have the three kilo box all in. And we have Discovery Optics instruction leaflet quality control checking and inspection leaflet, a chamois cloth for cleaning, Discovery Optics, all oh, right. We have Discovery ED PRS 5 to 25 by 56 SFIR specification. And I'll put a photo of this in the Flickr album, link for which is down below. 0 0.1 millirad graduations. So we have what looks like a pen, except it's a cleaning brush. And if I retract the brush, we've also got a pad here, which up against my hand. So a nice cleaning tool supplied there. A scope leveling kit. That's a three piece kit to get the scope level. Exactly as per the photo on the box, this is a three piece anodized aluminium set. We have what looks like the smallest item and ah, this will be removable throw lever for the zoom. I'll be fitting that shortly. We have a pair of high profile 34 millimeter Picatinny scope rings. And that's very nicely presented. We've got a torque setty on here of 25 inch pounds. That's a fair bit of torque. So I'll see if I can borrow Bruce's torque wrench to set this up. Might have to invest in my own. The mounts. Very nicely made. Cutaways, they're lightweight, a sort of skeletal mounts with a large 34 millimeter central aperture. And although they have all four Allen screws for the rings and both for tightening onto your Picatinny rail, there are two spare Allen screws in the packet. And also there's an Allen key supplied. We have not one, not two, we have a three piece sunshade here. Lightweight, very finely threaded. I hope you can see that. It's got fine serrations on the inside as well. So that's to remove glare. Uh, so very nice. And we have the main event. We have the scope itself. And it's got a, a removable cap at one end. 
rubber cap and flip up sprung objective lens cap so matte black finish very very large positive turrets so of serrations on here that is going to grip very very easily with gloves or with fingers we've got uh, a sort of a scale up direction and there's basically one to ten main graduations with ten sub graduations so that 100 graduations per rotation and obviously looking at that scale there you'll be able to count how many rotations for long range shooting that's in vertical and horizontal for windage we have yep very positive 0 0.1 millirad horizontal and vertical I'm looking at this I'm guessing the zero is resettable for elevation on the side here we have parallax wheel graduated from infinity 500 200 100 50 and then parallax is down to 25 meters again very positive grippy ridged and serrated wheel for the parallax adjustment on the outside we have a wheel controls the central il illuminated red cross in the center of the reticle the focus throw lever screws in here in between the 10 and 11 times mag positions I can say that the zoom throw lever is definitely required because out of the box that zoom is very stiff hopefully it'll free up a little with within use but the lever is definitely required and weight wise the scope alone is 11.98 grams and the scope with the two-piece mounts and the shortest of the sunshade sections is 1472 grams or three pounds 3.9 ounces with the objective lens cap raised all in the scope is 420 millimeters long both one piece picatinny mounts have fixed recoil arrestor studs underneath them and they're very lightweight actually on their own two piece 34 millimeter mounts are 168 grams and clearly marked 34 millimeters or 1.67 inches and with a torque setting of 25 inch pounds the scope leveling kit which is these three pieces of metal here is an absolute doddle to use i would say it's best suited for picatinny rails but all you do is slide that fella in and it doesn't align with the slot of your rifle's picatinny rail uh, you pop that in slide it along and basically whether you use the, the small one or the larger one and there is an overlap between the two you slide the scope leveler into the groove on your picatinny rail and the top of the wedge is parallel to the level of your picatinny rail i know not all scopes have flat bottom saddles but providing the bottom of your saddle is flat you can easily quickly level your scope up no spirit bubbles required that's a doddle to use just be aware of course that as you tighten down your mounts in a x shape you'll have to just loosen this slightly to make sure it's not trapped between the saddle and your picatinny rail that is so easy to use job done i'll be mounting this scope for the time being on my 17 hmr rimfire this is a cz455 in an mdt lss22 stock with the addition of a hinge basically with me being disabled i'll be able to hang the belt around my neck fold the stock slip it over the belt and literally wear it a bit like i wear my bullpups around my pest control permissions at present outstanding scope i'll be recording some footage via my eagle vision cam part 007 adapter with a bit of luck i've got to double check if i've got a uh, a bayonet adapter big enough for the uh, I bell of the ED5225 by 56 scope. Hopefully, we'll be able to bring you some through scope footage and show you this reticle performing 
at various magnifications. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks very much to Anna and the team at Discovery Optics. Lots more coming soon and enjoy your shooting. And yes, in addition to this shorter list of what's coming soon, I am still working on the Senapex Dot S10 Thermal beside the Hype Micro. And I am definitely still working on the PAR DS3550 and 70 at night. And I'm about to record the Cheetah C32F RL by day and night beside the PARD DS3550 RF. All coming soon. Thanks for watching.